here with former middleweight and light heavyweight champion of the world, Frank Tate. Frank, uh, you look back on some of your biggest wins against Michael Lajade, Uriah Grant. When you look back and think on that, uh, you know what comes to mind? What really well, stands out over your first career? First of all, when we stand at right now, Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. When I won my title back in '87, it was right here at Caesar's Palace in the, in, in the pavilion. Yeah. Now I'm looking at this place; it's totally different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't couldn't even know how to get back to the pool anymore. Yeah. The landscape of Las Vegas has changed a little bit since then. It, it has changed yeah. dramatically. Yeah. So it's a sport. These guys today, a generation is different than where we come. When we were boxing back in the '80s, it's yeah. totally different. Yeah. Well, anyway, you make any time you can fight on national TV and make a a million or two million dollars. Right. <laughs> Things have changed. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the Olympics. We touched on that. Uh, okay, what's wrong with the amateur program now? Why are our Olympic fighters not competing at the level that you guys did, the 76, 84 Olympic team? I t I'm going to tell you just like I tell everyone. They don't compete against those countries anymore. Yeah. USA versus Cuba, USA versus Russia. Yeah. So when they go to, to fight these guys in the Olympics, they don't see this style. Yeah. They're not used to it, so that's what get us. Yeah. And the coaches they taking over there, I don't know. Come on, I mean, the coaches don't even know the style, so how can they tell them, the fighters how to fight right. to, the, to adapt to that style? Right. So you're looking at two things. Yeah. The coaches and the fighters don't, they don't see that style, type of style of fight. Yeah. That European style of fighting. So when you get to the Olympics, it's too late. Yeah. It's too late. But we've been fighting USA versus Cuba, Russia, so many times when I was coming up. Yeah. So when I saw him there, ordinary, it's just common, ordinary. Commonplace, but yeah. you're doing my way. Yeah. My toughest fight was the Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so that's the problem we have. Yeah. You know, once we correct that, get it back to where it used to be, yeah. it was not broke on fix. Right. Right. So as you said, now you're coaching fighters in 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 Houston. In Houston. Awesome. Yes, sir. You've gone through the sport and given back. Yes. Talk I'm to me a little bit about lives. that. You know, it's it's. it's it's great, you know, God has blessed me yeah. to sue my career and now to change young kids' lives. Yeah. Kids come off the street. I get hardcore kids. Yeah. Some of them make me sick. Yeah. But I pray to God, God give me the strength and the courage to go there and work with these kids. Before you know it, they didn't accomplish something in life. And you know, I pat myself on the back. That's all this work. Yeah. If I can keep doing that, that's fine. I'm not trying to make means of dog. I just want to change lives and be in that car. Awesome. Good stuff. So some fighters can't make the transition from being a fantastic, phenomenal fighter like you were into being a good coach. How have you made that transition? What have you done that's, that's different than some of those other guys? Well, all I can say, the good answer for that is I had a great teacher, Emmanuel Stewart. Yeah. God no bless doubt. his soul. Yeah. I, no I took all what he taught me, and now I'm passing on over. What's the most valuable thing he taught you? To be a boxer. To respect people. You know, he, he taught me. Well, not only inside the ring, but outside the ring. You know, I was around Thomas Hines at 14, 15 years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, How was that for rubbing off on that you? That was something, you know. Yeah. I, I have a story to tell, you know. Yeah. But um, it's wonderful. Yeah. You know, I'm really going to miss him, but you know, now I can take what he taught me and pass on that. Yeah. And then hopefully someone will listen and be another Floyd Mayweather book. There you go. Yep. It'll happen. Yes, One day that happen. kid's going to walk into your gym. Right. It you can know? happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yep. Good stuff. Thanks, Thank Frank. You. Appreciate awesome. it.